Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stampy Blessing. I love bringing you ideas with what you already have and many of you already have the Varied Basis Stamp Set and the Basis Builder Punch. Check out the six lamps that I created with it. I hope you love them. The first time I saw the Varied Basis Stamp Set, the first thing I thought was lamps. So let's make them together, okay? I use Varied Basis for the lamps, as you can see. And I use Make a Difference for the Sentiment Shine. I took a piece of paper that is two and a half by five and a half, and I brought Highland Heather ink pad, and I started stamping this ones this way. Made my first lamp right there. Then I brought Balmy Blue. Last but not least, I brought gray granite. I decided to use gray granite to make the little lines on the top holding the lamps. Then I grab the Paper Pumpkin Manly Moments, this shine stamp right here, and I use Pineapple Punch to create an effect of light. I will put this piece of paper here to protect. Take a bit of my pineapple and create that effect of light under the lamps. There you have it. I hope you like this idea. My next idea was created with painted glass and the vases punch. To create this vase, this is what I did. I took a piece of basic black cardstock and I cut it at 9 16 of an inch. So that is just one more little tiny line after the middle line, okay? So that is 9 16 So I'll just put it right there. I will bring my punch now, and this is the image that I want to cut right here. To do this, this is how I did it. We will give a little bit of curve to our piece of paper. Let me use this side. And we will put it through here. There. When it's in place, actually I'm gonna go a little higher there. I will punch and I will have my new vase which is a, a bit of a different shape than the one that actually comes here to give it a difference. In order to create the lamp shape, this is what I did. I took a piece of Whisper White paper. I will stamp this image from the painted glass on my Whisper White. That's the first step. punch with my two inch circle punch and then I will take my snips and cut right through the center. And that is how I created my base. We are going to create this small lamp or table lamp using again the painted glass stamp set a framelit from the Apron Builder frame, Framelits dies. You'll see how I created it. I'm I will be using the Balmy Blue. I will stamp my circle. And then I will bring my Big Shot with the Apron Builder's Framelits, which is this one right here. It's the pocket that actually goes into the apron. We will position our circle in our Big Shot. Place this right on top. 
and now run it through. And there you have a totally different lamp shape. Isn't that cute? This is another lamp shape that I created for the same type of base, okay? And the way I did it is also with the Apron Builder Framelits dies. I decided to take the apron and I cut it to create a lamp, okay? I'm going to do it with you, but the thing that I want to show you the most is how to do this little dangling things right here for my shade. And it reminds me of some old lamp shades at my grandma's house. So what I did is that I took this little framelit right here from the Apron Builder Framelits. I took a piece that is about two inches long of basic black cardstock. And um, I decided to cut this twice. So you're going to put it at the bottom. You're going to cut it twice and I'll show you how. So here's time number one. I will take this off. And you see, it's right there. Actually, you don't need to do it twice. <laughs> I did it twice because I thought you did it twice, but no, you just do it once and then you cut. And here you have it. Let's cut this. And the way I did this is I took a, I took a ruler, find a pencil, make a line, cut your lamp. Here's your lamp. Then you will take a bit of tumble glue, adhesive. Put it on your leftover. I call it the leftover because it's not really the shape that we went for, but I loved it. And you will put it right on top of your lampshade. Isn't that amazing? I absolutely love that design. With this next sample, all you will need is the pearlized doilies or any doilies that you actually have at home, a pair of scissors, your punch, which makes the base for your lamp, and you will cut through sort of like in a triangular shape right here. And check out what I did. That is my lamp right there. It will go on top, but I decided to put something behind it. We'll put a bit of glue on this. You can use your adhesive of choice. And then use your scissors to cut your lamp. I'm so mega excited to share these ideas with you. As you see, I'm cutting under. And I think it went a little bit too deep, but you get the idea, right? Here you have a little lamp. Which one is your favorite? For my last idea with this creating these lamps, I decided to stamp the base from very bases, and then I decided to use the new vellum that Stamping Up brought this year in the catalog, Graceful Glass. I saw this circle and immediately thought of another lamp shape. So I got to work. And this is what I did. I cut my piece first. And I cut exactly the lamp shape that I wanted. After that, I took my Sharpies. I love Sharpies and decided to color these beautiful ones. Actually, I think I colored them on the front. So I will. Look how bright that looks. Absolutely gorgeous, right? So we are going to stamp our vase. I will put this here and I want to show you a trick that I discovered after I made this card. I discovered a ni nice trick. I wanna show it to you. So give me one second. We're gonna stamp our base. Okay. We are going to punch a little bl Blackberry Bliss flower. I want my piece of flower right here because that will, that will be the top of my lamp right there. But I wanna show you a nice trick to start adding your vellum from now on. Are you ready? 
Use your adhesive sheets. Have you ever considered using them? I want to show you how I'm doing it now. I will put this here, cut a small piece of it, and I will go around it. Actually, mm, yes, I think that's the best way. There is the adhesive. I will put my flower right here. And then I will adhere to my Whisper White. Look how nice that looks and it's perfectly added. Now, if you notice, the camera may not be able to show you, but this has a shimmer on it. So if you bring your Wink of Stella, I suggest you add some of it on top of this. If you like these ideas, I hope you comment below which of the six ideas you like the most. Thank you for being here. I love sharing these with you. Before you go, let me leave you with Isaiah 64, 5. It says, you come to the help of those who gladly do what is right and remember your ways. And I check another version and it says, you meet those who gladly do what is right and remember your ways. I love that because it says that he sends me help, but not only he helps me, he also meets with me. His presence fills me up. His presence satisfies me and pushes me forward. And that's my prayer for you today, that if you feel like you need help, you remember that God is there to help you. God bless you. Seek Jesus. He loves you. Ciao, ciao.